Dean in Mississippi and welcome back to the Coffee Break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, December 17th, 2023. Also, today is the third of Advent. So far, I made very good progress with decorating the Coffee Break world. The world really has turned into Winter Wonderland already, so I think I can take some time today to make sure that everything is ready for the end of the year episode. I need to make sure that I do have enough TNT and I need to find a suitable spot for the end of the year explosion. Spider's about to commit suicide, I guess. But first, I need to feed the cat. I need to feed the very hungry cat. Yeah, it's it's salmon time again. We're in, in Christmas season, so only the best. Only the best for the cat. Cat is happy, cat purse. That's good. All right, let's step outside and see what this spider's up to. Maybe the spider wasn't attacking me and was just trying to climb over that that uh, that wall. I'm sorry, spider guy. I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, we have bees. Hi. Are you... Okay, this bee is enjoying the, the flower. That's cool. I know, we still have to harvest your... Your honey at some point. Alright. Yes, cat, I know. Let's get over to the... The cabin and see if I do have some TNT left or if I need to craft some new TNT before heading over to Monument Valley to select the spot for the end of the year explosion and the 2023 monument and I really like this this Christmas Valley here will be really tough to select some more some more trees to decorate. It looks it looks so good. It looks so perfect. This is, this is amazing. This is so great. I really like this this time of the year. And I said it so many times. I need to have some more themed phases in the year where I turn the world into something else. Just just to make things more exciting. Um, I do have plenty of gunpowder, but it seems like I'm out of TNT. I used up all the TNT last time. I could also craft some, some rockets, I guess. I mean, this is also a thing I did. Shall we? Shall we really move away from the TNT situation? No, I think I think there there must be some TNT. But there should also be some rockets. So I need sand. I need do I need paper for rockets? I think I need paper for rockets. Maybe some some color. Uh, what color is easy to obtain? I mean, light blue is easy to, to get. Do I have something else? I mean, I have some some cacti. Let's take take some light blue. Yeah, I already do have. <laughs> why why am I now getting the the light blue? Light blue thing. Recipes. So, yeah, let, let's let's 
make sure that we do have some explosives. Currently, I'm a little bit annoyed by DHL with all the things they do, or rather not do. Because, um, what's it that way? Okay, was it... Uh, what do I want to do? What's it that way? Yes, that, that, that's how you, do, how you do it. All right. I, as discussed several episodes ago, shipped some some Christmas sweets to Promi. At least that that was the idea, to ship some some Christmas presents. Uh, well, not presents, but uh, Christmas sweets from Germany to Promi. But they haven't arrived yet. I. I started the shipping process on November 24th, so almost almost a month ago. And yeah, the, the parcel still hasn't arrived yet. So I, I, I think that this is not cool. I mean, this is definitely not cool. So yeah, I'm firework store star small blue light. What happens if I... How do I get a big star? Can I... Is there a way to have a big star? Firework rocket? Ah, it's apparently not in here. I'm... I'm overlooking things. Um, ooh, what that? Conduit. Candles. Ah, okay. Uh, or can I combine them? Let's craft four of these. Okay, apparently not. Then uh, let's let's get you out of the way. Okay, that's light blue. Okay, that that's exactly what I like to have. So let's add. Or, or that way we have 12, 12 firework rockets. Okay, we, we got something. I mean, I, I might, I might craft some more firework rockets later, later, when, when we, when the end of the year is, is upon us. For now, I think that that's enough. I mean, I, I, I got something. At least got something. That, that's that's cool. So yeah, um, my my parcel hasn't arrived yet. The parcel of Promi did. So <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure he even uh, dropped it off at at his post office after I dropped my packet here in Germany. So I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what DHL is up to. It's just annoying. It's very annoying and very disappointing, I must say. I checked again the tracking and basically the, the tracking indicates, okay, I the, the, the process was initiated November 24th. That's perfect. A few days later, they, well, at first they, they transported it to, to some some parcel hub or whatever, and then it was prepared for maritime shipping. <laughs> I mean, sure, great. So you you prepared my. I think uh, that, this, this is no getting problematic because 
basically completed that that circle. The circle is somewhat complete. 2014, 15, 16. Uh, th this really indicates how old the world is. This is so fantastic. 16, 17, 18, 19. 2020 over there. 2021. 2022. But where to put... Maybe I can... Do it a little bit like 2018 and uh, 2019. Have it somewhere here. I mean, the risk is with with the with the with the TNT that destroys my existing my existing monument. But yes, at least this year, or well, we might we might to spiral outwards. So basically, that that now we have completed the first first orbit. Now I have maybe a, a monument out here for instance. Then we, we go up this mountain for 2024 or so. Maybe maybe that's how we do it. Then we have one 2024 up there. Or do I want 2023 up there? 2024 there. We can spiral outwards. And then I need to have something here in the center. That's the bus order space program manager hashtag. At some point I might need to move that one too. Uh yeah, so I, I don't know. So it my, my packet was prepared on November 28th for maritime shipping, and since then no one heard of the the parcel anymore. <laughs> Does this mean the ship ran into an iceberg and sunk? Or does it mean the ship hasn't arrived yet? Also, what kind of route did the ship take? I mean, the parcel has to be shipped to the west coast of Canada. Do they just sail across the Atlantic and then drop it off on the east coast and somehow transported all across Canada from there? Or do they do they basically sail out into the Atlantic? Go somewhere I do not know. Either through the Mediterranean Sea into the Suez Canal or and that and then around China through the Pacific to the west coast of Canada? Do they sail the entire Atlantic down to the to the southern tip of Africa, around Africa? And from there all the way around Asia, across the Pacific, to, to the west coast of Canada. What what are they doing with my my, my parcel? Why do they use a ship? I mean Yes, I, I get the, the main concept of why using a ship, but why? Why? <laughs> why a ship? I mean, I'm quite sure there are so many planes traveling from Europe to, to Canada, to America in general. I mean, I'm not quite sure how the, the, it would continues there, or if it would how, if it would be possible to also just fly to the states somehow and then continue on or so. I in the end I don't even care. <laughs> but um, yeah, what 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 are they doing? <laughs> uh, airplane would be so much more convenient, I would say. There, there must be there must be enough flights that uh, go over the Atlantic. Those packets could be just flown there, I guess. I would assume. So yeah, I, I'm I'm really a bit disappointed 
by the, the post office, or rather DHL, that they're not... that they're not um, getting this this delivery done in time. I mean, I really wanted it to be a nice thing for the advent season for, for Promi. Not that it arrives around Easter, <laughs> but whenever. I mean, that, that's that's so stupid. So, yeah. Also, in, in addition to that, I was expecting a package. Of course, I wasn't at home when all of a sudden the packet arrived because it arrived earlier than anticipated, which is also always great. I receive an email like, hey, your packet is going your direction. And I think, sure, great. Time is time is nice when it arrives. I am available. Then all of a sudden I get an email, hey, your packet arrives earlier than expected. It arrives today. Well, thanks, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing, post office. So got got an email. They could pick it up uh, yesterday. So Saturday. I thought okay. Uh, well, Saturday is okayish. Would have preferred to have it in my in my in the in, in the autonomous machine, the packet machine thingy, where I can pick it up twenty four seven. But okay. Went to that stupid post office. Only to get told, no, I do not have your packet. No, I can't redirect that packet to the automated packet station. No, I can't now look whether the packet is in the, in the storage room. Basically, all the answers were, no, I can't. And when I ask multiple questions with multiple ideas, alternatives, how the situation could be solved, and everything is, no, I can't, then at some point my patience says also no I can't. So yeah, yesterday I was cursing a lot in that stupid post office because I just felt hey, this entire business is completely incompetent. <laughs> get your things in order and get your job done. And stop saying no I can't. The only answer that you should really say is I can and I will. So yeah, uh, now, now this big question: what, what happened to to the ship where my parcel for Promi is on board? Also, why is it a ship and not an airplane? And um, yeah, I, I wonder if I if I would have needed to send it like an express delivery or something like this. Maybe this would have made the difference. Also, I I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know what what went wrong there. It, it is just infuriating to think about what's going on in current times. I think we are, we are really done with decorating all those Christmas trees. At least I, I do have some yellow. I mean, I can have some more yellow trees. Let's have some... Oh no, these trees are noisy. <laughs> these trees are very noisy. How, how does it look from above? Um, yeah, so th this it was fun, <laughs> or rather not fun. What happened over the course of the last few days? At least with respect to the post office. I had a very strange experience. I mean, from this angle, it looks it looks really cool. This tree or that tree could also be decorated. I feel I don't know. I mean, we decorated these, decorated basically all the. I could also do this this random tree over there. I mean, sure, why not? This tree seems so so random. So that that it, I guess it will just look cool when I decorate it. I received an email from one conference where I submitted a paper to. Um, I mean, it, the, the paper I submitted to, I already submitted to a different venue. It got rejected there. As the, the other conference, the other call for papers, 
the deadline arrived, uh, approached. We haven't had time to do anything to that to that rejected manuscript. So I thought, okay, I don't care. I I just submitted exactly the way how I submitted it initially. <laughs> no improvements, nothing. Just 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 total complete resubmit. And it's it was not rejected yet. Yesterday the the reviews came out. It was also not well it, for some reason normally this conference is either they accept or accept it as a poster or reject. But this paper now received good reviews. Apparently they in their discussion of the reviewers decided okay we want to recommend it as a poster acceptance. But since the reviews still were rather high with, with their scores, I received an email, hey, you can you can uh, send a rebuttal, you can write a rebuttal, and then the, the, the rebuttal will be will be checked by the program committee. And maybe, although the the reviewers decided to say it's it's a poster, we will allow you to to have it as as a as a conference paper, as a real paper. So, so I was really surprised. Like, okay, I, I didn't know that this option existed. Also, it felt so strange. The reviews were, I recommend accept. I would go for accept, and one, I would reject. Oh no, I, I would rather go for reject, so it were really, were not bad reviews actually. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised what what was going on there and I'm even more surprised and amused by the fact that, hey, this is, this is the not, not improved version of the paper that was completely rejected at a different venue and now you say, hey, we, we even give accepts for it. <laughs> That's uh, this. This just shows. This is this is just the the, the ideal demonstration of how Death skeleton, how great this entire review peer review system works. How everything is is in order. <laughs> how nothing could be improved with that process. Oh man, that's hilarious. But yeah, so I guess I will. Just for the fun of it, write a rebuttal text and just see what happens. I mean, if they if they stick with we just accept it as a poster, then I won't do anything else to that paper because I don't want to get it out as a poster. If they say, hey, it's, we 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 now accept it as a as a paper, as a conference paper, sure. Then nice, thank you. So it, it's really. This random tree over there looks really cool, I must say. Because it's so all of a sudden a light in the dark. That's neat. I can also see it from up there. So yeah, it, it's really fun how this low effort situation resulted in some some new experiences, some things I, I, I never thought they exist at this conference, at this venue. But yeah, we'll see. And if, if this if it get re if it gets rejected or rather just accepted as a poster and I just submit it somewhere else again because I hate poster downgrades, then I, I also don't care. In this case, yeah, w w was was a funny moment. Oh yes, one one can see this tree. One can see this tree a little bit in the distance. Well, that's funny. That's great. That's really no. It starts to. Slowly, I hope we're not getting shot by a skeleton. Hey, from here we can see it. Oh, that that's cool. That's nice. I like. I really like. So yeah, we we will see. We'll see what what comes out of this. And um. Yeah, I guess. I guess this wraps it up. I hope the ship with my parcel packet, with my packet for for Promi, hasn't sunk. 
Doesn't run into an iceberg. Will arrive at the harbor soonish. Maybe the, the parcel already is on a truck. I, I don't know what they're doing. And that's that's the main problem. Also, I'm not quite sure what if, if, if there would have been a... I mean, I, I just said, hey, please ship this. And no, I do not want to have it super urgent. I just want a normal delivery. And I did not know that a normal delivery means using a ship like in the old days. <laughs> as we had no air transportation. Anyways. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed this very episode. I hope you're joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Sebi. See you.